Don't do something crazy, Toxicity. Don't. Thunderbolt. Oh, no, 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 no. It is the start of a brand new Battle Stadium ladder season, and we have the Paradox Mons available. I did want to showcase some of them, and why not try out a very strong combination with Iron Moth and Fluttermane alongside some common picks to get us started. Let's see how it's going to go. This team features heavy offense with Dundoza Tatsugiri alongside powerful attackers. Iron Moth with booster energy designed to get a speed boost and outspeed the Flutter Main for an acid spray to lower the opponent's special defense or follow up from Choice Specs. Flutter Main does a lot of damage and can pick up a lot of knockouts in the format. And two steel types to help balance out with Golden Go that can do well into Iron Bundle and Amoongus, while King Gamma can threaten strong priority and good into Armor Rouge and stuff, while also again being able to take attacks from Iron Bundle. Common plans involve setting up acid spray combos from Iron Moth with Golden Go, Flutter Main, or even Tatsugiri, setting up for potential Dundozo cleanup in the endgame. If you would like to check out the details of the team or the creator, they will be linked in the description down below. Great Tusk, Torkoal, Lilligant, Flutter Main, Grimmsnarl, and Sarah Ledge. Okay, how do I want to approach this matchup? Because Sun is not fun. I. Is Iron Moth even faster than Lilligan? Probably not, because Booster Bundle is slower than Lilligan. Oh, geez, that's a pain. But Iron Moth's really good into that combination, I suppose. So I do want to go with Iron Moth for sure as a lead. The question is, what do I want to lead next to it? A Flutter Mane's not too bad. I guess I'll live and expects Eruption, so it might be just this lead combo in general. I do kind of like it. And in the back, I'm trying to figure out, because I do like the... Tatsugiri for sure here. I think Tatsugiri is very good. I don't know if I want to bring Dundozo though because it's Sun. I'm a little bit vulnerable to Grimmsnarl. There is the, uh, the Lilligan that's just a big pain right here. So I kind of want to go. Let me see. Is my Tatsugiri max speed? No, I'm modest. Okay. Focus Sash is still really helpful though. I think I go with Golden Go because I like the ability to switch into Sleep Powder as well as uh, Grimmsnarl, which I don't know if that mode's going to be brought, but we'll see here. And then I think Tatsugiri in the back. Let's try this out. So there's a lot of things I do have to watch out for. The Torkoal after you Earth Power could do a lot of damage to the Iron Moth. I don't know if that picks was a knockout. Iron Moth has some pretty good special defense. Torkoal it doesn't really do much unless it's like a choice spec set, I guess, because they don't run Life Orb. So I'm kind of curious on whether I can lead the iron moth and be okay which is attacking here we're gonna see lilligan torkoal yep not too surprising here so i will lead the iron moth flutter main here and oh man sometimes i would carry struggle bug on the iron moth this one doesn't have it but it'd be so nice but we do get the speed boost actually with the flutter main so uh, we're still slower than Lil. actually are we still slower than lilligan here i think we are yeah flutter main's slower than bundle yeah as Flutter means what? Like, yeah, it's not it's not able to outspeed, but it will do a lot of good damage right here. I think I could just go for a heat wave immediately off the bat and just do some damage. I don't mind just going for a heat wave dazzling gleam here. If I can get rid of these Pokemon, it'd be like damage is pretty huge here. Heat wave would do a decent amount to Torkoal, base 140 special attack, and I would like to break a sash on the Lilligan. Torkoal protect is not too surprising here because you want to probably just like try to attempt to sleep powder immediately. If it misses, really nice. That Lilligan's not timid. I'm very surprised. Timid Lilligan outspeeds booster bundle barely, I'm pretty sure. So I'm very surprised it's not. Does that mean Iron Moth? It's Citrus Berry? Why are you Citrus Berry Lilligan? Okay. Also, this is really awkward that I actually have the speed boost with my Flutter main. Uh, the main reason it is awkward is that... Oh, because I can't do acid spray combinations as effectively because I have the speed boost on the Flutter main that allows me to outspeed my Iron Moth <laughs> even with the boost. Uh, this is okay, though. I think this is a pretty strong position. I could just go for an S spray into Dazzling Gleam since my Flutter Mane is faster than Lilligant and I burn a turn of sleep. This is pretty good, especially since I'll get Chip on Torkoal and avoid Eruption doing a lot of damage. So this is kind of a weird thing about running Sun this format is you can power up your opponent's Paradox Pokemon. So it's a little bit weird to use Sun here, especially if you're running a slow low game of Citrus Berry. Like, every Lilligant I've seen is usually either Focus Ash for the Wide Lens set or maybe life or but usually it's going to be that focus that set most of the time as it is very disruptive here but yeah i'm able to get a dazzling gleam off with the choice specs i killed a Lilligan. that torkoal took it extremely well actually i'm very shocked and do we wake up with iron moth here would be really nice 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 so i do get an acid spray off that's huge i could have went for a single target heat wave in the sun but i've already done pretty decent damage to the torkoal where the eruption is super weakened what 
Okay. What are what's going on here? Why is it lava bloom on the Torkoal? Okay. A uh, Torkoal is going down to the next dazzling gleam, I suppose. My opponent didn't have any like super strong priority. I think that gets rid of Fluttermane right here. So very nice position for me. We'll see what my opponent decides to bring out here. Whether it's gonna be Great Tusk is probably the most difficult Pokemon because of its Terra. Oh, Sarah Shadow Sea can get me here. Okay. That makes sense. Alright. Sarah comes out. I really think I just fire off an acid spray into Sarah Ledge, and I definitely want to retreat here. Do I want to go hard into Tatsugiri? I think I would rather just go Golden Go. And you might be thinking, why are you going to go Golden Go here? Because Golden Go is not really necessary for anything on my opponent's team. There's no Grimstone anymore. I, I assume there's no Grimstone in the back. You usually lead it. And I'd rather have Tatsugiri Sash available for the Great Tusk. I also want Fluttermane as a backup just in case. So, oh, the Lava Plumes for the Flash Fire on the Serilage. That makes a lot of sense, actually, now. Okay, gonna go Golden Go here. And Torgo's gonna protect, yeah, because it doesn't want to get knocked out here. But I really just want to focus on getting rid of the Serilage if possible. No Shadow Seek's interesting. Are you going for Bulk Up, Bitter Blade, or Sword Stance here? Either one's interesting. Gonna be Bitter Blade. Okay, that's cool. Getting to the Golden Go, maybe anticipating the Terra. I don't mind that because I didn't really do that much damage to Serilage. But now I'm in a really good spot, right? Because... I've already threatened the damage into it, and now I could go out into my... I could go into Tatsugiri, or my Life Orb is interesting here. Okay. I like the Tatsugiri here, because Draco Meteor, and also, like, I'm just not threatened by the sail that just moves right here. So, I could also just threaten with a very powerful Draco Meteor, and Acid Spray and a Torkoal should pick up a knockout, especially with it being at minus two. So, I'm going to go for a Draco Meteor and an Acid Spray. Like, they don't really have any switches, unless they have Grim in the back, which I'd be very shocked, because, like... Endgame Grim isn't like something we commonly see. You would rather get up screens or like disrupt your opponent immediately. I'd imagine Great Tusk is in the back, and that's why I want to preserve the Fluttermane as much as possible because preserving that Fluttermane is going to be like really nice. Acid Spray going to come out, no protects. Torkoal just goes down. Beautiful. So I'm not able to destroy that Torkoal set. Uh, Lava Plume. Maybe it's Lava Plume Eruption protected. Maybe Clear Smog or Earth Power Solar Beam for the last one. Solar Blade is that Solar Blade? That is Solar Blade. Wait, did I miss a Draco or is that just max speed for some reason? Okay. Atsugiri, please hit the Draco. Please hit the Draco. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's just secure the game. So Sarah Ledge goes down. My opponent hasn't used a Terra though, I suppose. Which is a little bit concerning because I still have no idea what Terra it is. But we'll find out. So Great Tusk is going to come in. I want... Okay, is this the last turn of Tail or Sun here? Great Tusk attack is heightened. I hope this is actually. Okay, this is perfect. So I'm going to go for Protect with Iron Moth here. And I'm just going to go for a Draco Meteor into the Great Tusk. Because I want Iron Moth to get the booster energy set up for the Fluttermane combination here. A long rush they target down excellent excellent i get the biggest sash here which is beautiful okay nice so draco meteor into you goodbye wow that's a lot of damage actually a great test of special defense isn't that impressive though it doesn't look like a salt vest i would like to go do i want to terra here i mean terra doesn't benefit me at all with flutter main i think i just always as a spray to great tusk and i think i terra because like what benefit here is probably my terra right now and go for a Draco Meteor. If the Terra Steel, that's fine, right? Because we already saw this on Assault Vest, so Shadow Ball should pick up the Knockout because it's Choice Specs. So that's the only way you avoid this Acid Spray, which means I should always guarantee the KO on Great Tusk. And as we see, my opponent does forfeit here. I'm realizing that. So yeah, really the power of just like a really offensive thing right here. And even though Lilligant was a bit annoying to my team, the thing is my opponent didn't look like have a way to actually break through the uh, Iron Moth or the Flutter Main. So I was just able to like always pressure like with a lot of damage or KO potentially. Although Sun made it a little bit weird, I guess. Grimmsnarl, Toxtricity, the Dragapult, Flutter Main, Cormorite, and Great Tusk. This is kind of a weird combination actually because they have some really fast Pokemon. Like, really fast. And also, that Great Tusk is such a big threat, actually. It really is. I kind of want to go with Dundoza mode. I think I need to. Maybe I don't need to. I think it's very effective here. Do I need King Gambit, I suppose? I do want to have King Gambit because the Dragapult is, like, really a threat right here. But I'm trying to figure out. Okay. So, I want to pressure Coronite. I want to pressure... Ah, oh, jeez. You know what? I'm gonna go with Iron Moth Fluttermane. Because the thing is, 
Dragapult, if I tear Steel to Fluttermane, which I think I can in this matchup because it's a fine Terra here. I think it's pretty effective. So, you know what? I'm going to try it out with uh, Tatsugiri Dundos on the back. I mean, this is all right here. Because I want to pressure the Coronite if it leads because there's Tailwind immediately. I want to pressure the Toxtricity. I want to get some big damage into Grim because Grim can be a little bit tricky. I wonder if it lives some Moonblast from Fluttermane. But the thing is, in order to lead Grim and always survive the turn, you can't... Actually, my opponent doesn't have the way to do that. You have to, like, pressure with Great Tusk, so... Yeah, I should be alright. I think I can pressure with the lead and then clean up with Dundozo, which is the main point of this team. So let's try it out and see how it goes. I am worried about Coronite being able to stall out, but it really depends on this Terra type here. So... Dragapult Grimstall? Okay, pretty good lead for me here. Pretty good lead for here for me. Okay. Iron Moth Fluttermane. I'm going to go for my... Ooh, this is an interesting interaction. So Dragon Darts would probably be the scariest move technically into my Iron Moth, but I'm not really too concerned about it. I go for an Acid Spray here, and I think I go for a Terra Dazzling Gleam right here immediately. I don't really need my Terra too much in this game, and I like the defensive synergy it gives me right here. And they're not going to fake out the Flutter Main. If you fake out my Flutter Main, you're absolutely insane, but <laughs> that's an amazing read for my opponent they do, but we'll see. And... This gets rid of my ghost typing, which is fantastic. So, Dragapult shouldn't be able to knock me out with any attack, especially since I do have bulk right here. I wonder if Sucker Punch double up, I guess, can knock me out with the attack. But it really depends, because he would need Shadow Ball here, most likely, for it to be like a safe play for my opponent from the Dragapult. Also, their Dragapult is slower than Fluttermane, which I'm very shocked, because normally that is kind of the reason why you run. Wow, Terra Fire. I was not expecting that one, actually. Uh, that could be bad. Is it? Uh, let's see what Grim does. Sucker Punch. Life Orb. Light Screen. Okay, no, this is fine. <laughs> okay. But it's slow. Why is it slower? I Like, the only reason I thought you would run Dragapult ever in this format is the... You know, outspeed Fluttermane. That actually did no damage to the Dragapult, but I guess it's resisted now. But maybe it's bulky Dragapult? I don't know. All right. I am able to eliminate it, the Grimmsnarl, which is nice, because now they don't have Reflex, so Dundoza mode is still really effective here. Also, this one's bulky. Uh, Toxtricity coming in. I don't think I need Fluttermane at all for the rest of the game. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I think I'm just going to ask Spray to Toxtricity and just go for another Dazzling Gleam. I don't want to risk Dundozo or Tatsugiri with an Overdrive here, so just go for as much damage as I possibly can into the Toxtricity. And just break a Sash, potentially. I mean, Dundozo should be able to clear up. Flamethrower going to come out here. Oh, wait. It is faster. Wait. There's no way we speed tie. I tear it first, didn't I? Did I misread it? I... S I know they Sucker Punch first, so the priority didn't matter. Did I just misread the Terras happening? That's all right. Overdrive. Iron Moth takes that like a champion. I go out into Dundoza, I suppose, because I can just Earthquake because they don't have a good Terra. Wisp is okay because I still eliminate the Toxtricity because it's four times effective. I also... Sh I don't know if I knock out Dragapult, but it really depends. I don't really care about a burn because of rest, so... I don't really mind this. Like, I just powered through immediately, denied a Reflect, and that's pretty much the big thing to me because deny not reflect just allows my uh just allows undozo to really do much because grim was pretty much a defensive core here and once being able to eliminate that pillar this is going to pretty much clean up the game i'm pretty sure unless dragon pull is something super crazy that i'm not aware of or the toxicity does something super crazy don't do something crazy toxicity don't thunderbolt oh no 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 Oh, thank you. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Thunderbolt, Paralysis, Overdrive, Crit. Okay, goodbye. Because <laughs> if they crit me, and if they Thunderbolt Para didn't crit me, or even just fun, like, Thunderbolt Para was really bad there. Thunderbolt Para was really bad. Sucker Punch, Flainter, T-Bolt. What is that Dragon Ball set? I don't know. Shadow Ball is the last move I'd hope. I have no clue. Let's see what their last is. I do win with Dundozo, Tatsugiri, and the Iron Moth in the back, I'd presume. Coronite gonna come out? Yeah, I just win. Uh, they tear it already, so I'm not too worried. I have Wave Crash, so I actually pressure Coronite, so not really that big of a deal. I am able to win. 
Ooh, okay. Okay. Very, very nice right there. <laughs> A dragon pole. I have to look back. Did we actually speed tie? Is did something terror happen? I don't know. I might have misread it. Who knows? Who knows? Roy Moon, Iron Bundle, Amoongus, Iron Hands, the Bridge Raff, and the Golden Go. Okay. So some pretty scary Pokemon right here. I really, really like Golden Go. Terra Steel Golden Go is fantastic if set up properly. I also really like the Fluttermane. I wonder if I could do Acid Spray combination here because it's really strong, actually. I think I can. I'm going to try it, I think. I'm also Terra Steel on the Fluttermane. So, you know what? I think it's probably okay trying it out. I go and go in the back and I kind of like trying out the King Gambit here. I think. I think King Gambit's pretty decent as the last Pokemon here. I just want to double check my moveset to confirm. Yeah, I have Iron Head, so I should be able to hit things neutrally. Yeah, I think this is pretty good combination-wise. I really like the idea of just being able to go for Acid Spray in this situation. If they lead Roy Moon, don't be Terra Steel. Uh, it would be awkward for me. Although, I don't think they would Terra Steel in front of Iron Moth, but they can, right? Because Acid Spray is the more likely move there, not Heat Wave. Unless you leave with Golden Go, then that doesn't make sense. But we'll see. It's going to be for Ridge Giraffe plus the Iron Hands. Okay. Very, very weird here. Actually, no, this is not bad for me at all. This is Trick Room coming out, which is fine for me because I can just go for a very powerful Moonblast immediately. I also have some pretty slow Pokemon, so I do not think that this is that bad for me. I think I go for a Specs Moonblast and a... I don't really care about the Giraffe. I care about the, uh, the hands here. I'm just going to go for a heat. I'm going to go for the acid spray into the Moonblast combination straight away into the hands. Trick is not too bad. Uh, they don't really have the best abuses. We see a Terra immediately, which I'm shocked by. Uh, is this Terra fire on the hands right here to resist my Moonblast? It is Terra grass. Okay. I don't see what that's benefiting here, but all right. That makes it super weak to my King Gambit potentially in the back. They go for Fake Out. Uh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I guess they want to take less damage from Moonblast, but still. A Moonblast does a decent amount. That's a Soul Vest for sure. It took it that well. Trickum is going to come out. Okay. So I am pretty okay with the situation. I pretty much... I mean, they... The thing is, they need to double up something to pick up a knockout right here. And I just still put on so much offensive pressure. Yeah, like their Trick Room Mons are not that amazing in this matchup. So I'm just going to fire off a Heat Wave. And I'm going to fire off a Moonblast into the hands. Because I'm trying to put in range of Sucker Punch from my King Gambit right now. And then find a position to set up Golden Go, I'm pretty sure. Wall Charge going to come out into the Iron Moth, which is able to pick up the knockout. It is pretty frail. So Iron Moth, you did do some good work, I guess, pressuring. Also, the recoil is actually pretty big. I wonder if you actually do go down to Moonblast at this point. Hyper Voice, okay. Uh, just to cover Switch, I suppose. I don't think they have Psychic, I guess. Maybe their Throat Spray. Okay, this is Golden Go coming out here. I can't Sucker Punch, I guess, because of the Giraffe. So, yeah. I was hoping to maybe try to, like, just weaken it. And maybe find a position to get rid of the Giraffe. But it's fine. I should be able to Nasty Pot with Golden Go. And Fluttermane's really good as an endgame cleanup. So I think I'm just going to go out into my King Gambit right here. Or I could just Moonblast. I do think that Golden Go could just win this with next to my King Gambit. So you know what? I'm just going to stick in. I just go for a Moonblast, I suppose. I'm going to target down the Giraffe. Because the Harion or the Iron Hands can only go for a Wild Charge, right? And yeah, Fluttermane actually survives, which is pretty clutch. But I imagine this is Psychic coming out. Iron Hands goes down, but their Terra is eliminated, so they don't really have the best defensive place into my Golden Goal right now. I'm feeling pretty confident about this position. Shadow Ball. Oh, it's in the, into my uh, Golden Goal. That's actually really good to know that it has Shadow Ball, but it's not like hitting for that much damage. I am able to get a Nasty Pot up very comfortably with the Golden Goal. And now, even if they have their own Golden Goal, they can't Terra, so they can't get rid of their Dark and Ghost Weaknesses, and King Gamma can come in very comfortably here. Unless you're Focus Blast. Don't be Focus Blast, Golden Go. Please. If you Focus Blast my... If you Focus Blast my... Hey, Flutter Main Ice. This should be into Golden Go. Yep. Okay. So I can protect here. Very safe. And go out into King Gambit. Today, Nasty Plot, that's okay. I imagine... Well, they should go for a Shadow Ball, I think, into the Flutter Main. And they should Shadow Ball here. 
I think Nasty, I think Nasty Plot's super greedy in this position. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like Specs going and go on this team. So let's see. Bring out, oh, if they give a special defense drop for King Gambit, that'd be insane, but we'll find out. King Gambit gonna come out and go and go protect. We're just maneuvering to cover for Shadow Ball. We want to make sure that we have Pokemon around on the field. Shadow Ball gonna come out yep, into the King Gambit. If we get the special defense drop, that's really nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is not one Pokemon you want to give a Defiant Boost to. And they Shadow Ball. Perfect. Okay. So, so good. And yeah, that Terra, yeah, you did save the hands from taking more damage, I suppose, but right now it's looking pretty, pretty rough for you. It is looking pretty, pretty rough for you. It's the last in our trick room. Trying to figure out if I want a nasty plot or if I want to just go for the KO into the giraffe, because I really don't need the KO and giraffe at this point. I'm going to Terra go for a nasty plot and I'm going to go for the Kalto Cleave into the Golden Go. Unless they're mint speed on their Golden Go, I just don't think it underspeeds King Gambit here at all. I don't need my Terra flying. I don't need my Terra steel on the uh, Flutter main, so I think I should have this pretty much sealed up, I want to say. I just don't see how they pressure this combination, so let's see. Kato Cleave, yeah, I'm the slowest thing on the field, so I am able to just knock out the Golden Go. Goodbye, and I guess I didn't have to Terra there. But it's all right. I mean, I do take the Shadow Ball with less damage. So, yeah, that's a benefit here. It's, even if they special defense drop, right? That's fine. Because King Gambit's the one going to get the knockouts here. They really don't have the best offense. Because I'm trying to think. Iron Bundle was like the scariest Mon I felt like that they had. And I'm not too worried about that. Like, I'm really not worried about Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon's doing, like, no damage to me. <laughs> like, Earthquake's really not doing anything. Maybe they Dragon Dance on a read. It's Amoongus, so, yeah. They brought a hard command to Trick Room. And took way too much damage in the process. Didn't get Amoongus in, I think, earlier. So, this is an easy make it rain and count to cleave. And I 100% win this game. Not going to be forfeited. Very nice. And it's kind of the pressure to Moth lead, right? Because, like, Bundle was a little bit scary. But the thing is... Like with this, you pretty much just always made sure you denied the acid spray combination, I think with the fake out plus the trick room. But the thing is, then they couldn't really pressure me under trick room. Like sure, they pressured like my lead, but the back Pokemon were so strong here. Iron Hands, Iron Bundle, Amoongus, Sylveon, the Roaring Moon, and Arcanine. Alrighty here, so I don't wanna go. Dundozo seems pretty strong, but the problem is I'm really not a fan of playing Dundozo into like just a combination. I feel of wait, hold on. Let me see. If this is a clear smog Amoongus, yeah, it can be a bit annoying since I don't have sub here. So I think this is pretty weak in this matchup. So I would say I want to go with something like Iron Moth Fluttermane. Fluttermane is just really good here. The damage I do is absolutely incredible. I really like the Tatsugiri too. Tatsugiri is great as well. Or not Tatsugiri, sorry. The Golden Go here. Golden Go is really fantastic. I don't know why I said Tatsugiri. I guess I was just like hovering over it. I Golden Go is really good if I can get a Nasty Plot set up here. And I think I can pretty easily. So I like the idea of Fluttermane here. Fluttermane seems really good to me. Yeah, I like Fluttermane. I like Golden Go lead. And then I think I like Iron Moth in the back. Now you might be thinking, why don't I lead it? I just don't think it's that great as a lead here. Uh, my only problem is do I want Tatsugiri or King Game in the back? Because King Game, it's like decent it pressures the arcanine but i feel like i'd rather just have muddy water and draco meteor for the iron hands because iron hands is just such a tough pokemon to break through i mean the amoongus could be but i have golden go set up i have iron moth so i don't think i'm really that worried about amoongus more than i am worried about the iron bundle iron bundle is just so scary it's so scary especially in the dozo it depends on the set but like freeze dry does a lot and the yeah that's the weakness of dragon one especially we're gonna see the arcanine plus the Great hands here. All right. So I'm pretty okay with this lead here for me. I can pressure a lot of damage into great hands immediately, or I can pressure the Arcanine slot for a good amount. The thing is that they can do a lot of damage to Fluttermane, but the Fluttermane actually has bulk on this team. So also my Golden Go has bulk too. They can't knock me out immediately. Hmm. I'd really love to just get a Dazzling Gleam off for some massive damage. Oh man, that sounds really strong to me. Or Moonblast. I really like the idea of Moonblast actually into the Great Hands and Nasty Plot here. I think I'm going to go for it. I'm okay with this because no fake out here because it's double ghost. Look at that damage in Iron Hands. That's already insane here. 
Uh, we're going to see a Snarl coming out, which is great because I punish any passive plays here with a Nasty Plot. I wonder if Wall Charge even gets my Flutter Main because I'm not too familiar with the Flutter Main spread here. I think it's just like max speed and a lot of HP. It might be max HP. Stomping Tantrum. Okay, I was not expecting that one. That's a lot of damage to my Golden Go. That's fine. I'm able to get my leftovers. All right. I'm not really concerned about my Flutter Main being at minus one special attack. Although, this could be a little bit weird, I suppose. Because now I can't really damage the Arcanine as aggressively. I think my play is just to go Tatsugiri here and protect. They definitely, I think, Flare Blitz to Golden Go here. You're so scared. You're scared for both Pokemon, though. Shadow Ball threatens a lot of damage. You could Snarl again. I don't know. You could Snarl, I suppose. I think that's okay. Iron Hands, I think, most likely retreats to Amoongus here. I think if you're my opponent in a Flare Blitz, goes out in a Golden Go. I mean, that's like a super safe play. You pretty much, I think, if we confirm that it's a Solvus Iron Hands, and I think they pretty much can suspect a Choice Specs on the Flutter Main because that Moonblast does so much damage. I wonder if I could have knocked it out with a Terra Fairy Moonblast. It looks like I could have, which would have been absolutely insane for me, but... Tatsugiri can come in pretty safely here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're going to retreat Iron Hands. This should be out into Amoongus, I want to say. Roaring Moon. I'm surprised. They brought Roaring Moon this matchup. Okay. I was not expecting that. This should be Flare Blitz. There's no way you switch out. Yeah, speed is heightened. Protect the Golden Go just to be safe here. And a Flare Blitz comes out into the Golden Go. Yep, okay. So now I'm putting on a lot of pressure damage wise, I think, into this team, which I really like. But ah, the Roaring Moon's a little bit troublesome, I suppose. I do want to just muddy water here for the damage, and I think I just go for a make it rain here. Do I want to Terra? I'm Terra Muddy Water. Do I want to Terra Grass for anything? It could matter against the Iron Bundle plus Amoongus in the back, I suppose. Oh, wait, no, it can't be. That combination can't be in the back. Trying to think, what else would I want my Terra for? Because if I can get rid of Arcanine, that's amazing. But of course, if I just lose the Tatsugiri to a double up, I don't think that makes sense to me. So you know what? I'm just going to Muddy Water and make it rain. I think it's a pretty safe play for the most part. I'm usually able to get like pretty good damage out. out. So we're going to see the Golden Go go down to the Throw Chop. That's okay. I'm surprised they didn't Terra here because Draco Meteor would have dropped that. I do get a big Muddy Water off, and I'm faster than the Arcanine. That's pretty huge, actually. So I am able to pressure that Arcanine. A lot of damage to Roaring Moon. Accuracy drops pretty nice if we can dodge a Snarl, especially. But they flare, but it's okay. So, decent damage on the Tatsugiri. That's cool. All right. I am going to go Iron Moth here. Iron Moth should survive any attack i want to say here from the roaring moon unless it has a ground move which i'd be very surprised about i'm gonna use it to boost my quark drive and man if i am off had tailwind that would be so insane right here but i am just gonna fire off a draco meteor into the roaring moon and i am gonna go for an acid spray i think into arcanine this arcanine seems slow so even if like this roaring moon goes for tailwind for instance it shouldn't outspeed my iron moth and my iron moth i want to say i pick up the knockout into the Arcanine, just because of how much damage I did with the Muddy Water, it's super effective in a base 120 special attack stat, but that Arcanine did not seem taking it that great, and they don't Terra, so that's fantastic for me. Acid Spray should KO the Arcanine here. Okay, that's not a KO, but a Draco Meteor should KO as long as I connect and I outspeed. Yep, okay, perfect. So, Roar Moon Gone is actually really big for my team. I absolutely will take that. That's so good for me. Okay. The Roar Moon eliminated. And we're going to see the Arcanine Flare Blitz itself for the KO? No, Snarl. Okay. Uh, I dodged one, which is the Iron Moth, which is fantastic, actually. I'll gladly take that. I don't think it was necessary because I wasn't going down to it. And I feel like I probably KO what I need to anyway. Let's see if it's the... What's it called? The Iron Bundle in the back. No, hands coming out is really weird here. Okay. Hands. The problem is I lift Fake Out. I can go for Muddy Water very safely. And a Heat Wave. Yeah. There's no drawback to Heat Wave. Unless I miss, I guess. But that's alright. Fake out into Iron Moth. Yeah. I guess the Snarl miss did matter. Because, wow, well, I took a little bit more than I expected. But that's okay. Muddy Water. Iron Hands avoids the attack. Arcanine is the one I really want to connect though, So that's alright. Because Iron Hands is always just threatened by the... Or the Flutter Main in the back with Dazzling Gleam. So... 
But no terrors have been burned yet. What's the terror being saved for? Amoongus. Okay, I think I win. I do think I win. I just protect my Tatsugiri. And I... There's a lot of ways I can play this end game. I'm just trying to figure out if I have 100% win con. I probably do. Well, the thing is, my moves are very inaccurate here. I think I just protect Tatsugiri and go for a... I want to say I heat wave here. I'd rather just add spray the Amoongus. Yeah, I'm going to ask the spray the Amoongus, actually. No, I see my out. Yeah, I see, I see, I see the way I win. We're going to see a terror come out from my opponent immediately, which makes sense because you've been preserving the terror all this time. Iron Hands is the one that terrors, though. Terror grass. Okay, that doesn't change anything to me. Okay. Yeah, sure, it resists my muddy water, but like... That actually would have been worse. If I heat wave, this would have been a way worse situation for you, but... Uh, okay. I was expecting Terra on the Amoongus. Hey, Rage Powder. Okay. Because now I can just ask to spray the Amoongus. So Amoongus is gone, and now I set up for Fluttermane, because now I just click Dazzling Gleam and Taunt the Amoongus, and I always win. I guess if they Pollen Puffed, this could have been weird. Oh, they Drain Punched. Okay. If they Pollen Puffed, I guess it could have been weird. But the thing is... I think I would have still been okay with Terra, Flutter in the back, plus the Tatsugiri. Especially with the Acid Spray into Amoongus. Just like, I'd probably have to rely on hitting the attacks, but still not like the worst. Now I'm pretty sure I just taunt the Amoongus always, and I'm pretty sure I just... I get Terra Grass right here. I get Terra Grass right here. That might be the play. You know what? I'm going to Terra. I'm going to Terra and just Acid Spray the hands. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I KO the hands with the uh, Acid Spray right here. I want to say, this thing is really bulky, but still. Also, Amoongus, either Rage Powders or it's going to Spore, so. I don't think it's that bad. I'm... Oh, wait. Pollen Puff with Kaomi because I resist. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't think it does. As long as Fluttermane, Dazzling Gleam was a fine, and I always deny Pollen Puff this way, I just win the game, right? As this Pollen Puff into the Iron Hand specifically. So, Iron Hands goes down. Critical hit. Don't think it matters because base 140 special attack. Goodbye, Iron Hands. And now we just taunt this Amoongus so it can't spore. And now we can just go for a Draco Meteor Heat Wave. And as long as I connect one, I always win the game. So very, very nice Draco Meteor and Heat Wave. And yeah, as the spray combinations, it's a little bit hard to, I guess, lead with it immediately because there's some threats, right? Like Roaring Moon. I don't know if I'll live the... If they Terra Fly and they go for Acrobatics immediately. Also, I can risk them being Terra Steel, which would be awkward. So I don't like leading it, but I think it's really strong setups you can do. And the Tatsugiri Acid Spray combination is pretty threatening because 120 Special Attack is not to scoff at at all. All right, let's go over the games. The not max speed Lilligan in the first game was surprising, but I was able to put on so much offensive pressure against the lead while saving the resources for the great Tusk end game. Game two, speed time to Dragon Ball with Fluttermane was really weird and not something I would have expected, but being able to get a knockout into Grimsaw to deny Reflect or any other setups so Dundozo could win worked out perfectly. Game three, the lead was able to open up doors since my opponent had to get Trick Room up, which I didn't mind because I got the damage into Iron Hands that put my King Gambit and Go to Go in the back into a strong cleanup position. And then game four, I think I got a bit too greedy here and should have went for damage into Iron Hands and took the knockout. But I got saved with no Terra on the Roy Moon and being able to knock out Arcanine and Roy Moon without losing too much. Hatsugiri lead would have been strong here looking back. Iron Moth, man, I think this Pokemon would have been insanely good if it got any of Volcarona support moves like Tail and Rage Powder or Willowsp even. But man, that Acid Spray combination can be destructive sometimes. And we got to showcase it today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. It really does help me out. And you can check out the creator of the team as well as the details down below the description. And you can grab the rent code on your screen that is available. But otherwise, you can subscribe to the channel for more VGC content.